two-legged beasts that walk like men play stink finger in their crusty asses while crackling babies in napalm coats. Stretch mouths to receive burning tears on splitting tongues. Just give me a cool drink of water for I die. No. The gap-legged whore of the eastern shore enticing Europe to come in her and turn her pigeon shit back to me. To me who stoked the cold that drove the ships which brought her over the sinuous cemetery of my many brothers know the cocktail afternoons of what can I do. In my white laid pink world, I've let your men cram my mouth with their black throbbing cake and I swallowed after I've let your mammy steal from my kitchens. I was always half amused. I've chuckled the chins of your topsy head pickings. What more can I do? I'll never be black like you, hallelujah, no. The red-shoed priests riding palanquined in barefoot children country. The placid saints gazing down beneficently on kneeling mothers picking undigested beans from yesterday's shit. I've waited. Toes curled, hat rolled, heart and genitals in hand on the back porches of forever in the kitchen and fields of rejection on the cold marble steps of America's white outhouse in the drop seats of buses in the open flies of war no more. The dream that you will cease haunting me down in fetid swamps of fear and will turn to embrace your own humanity which I am no more. The hope that the raised insults which mercury slides over your tongue will be forgotten and you will earn the words of love, mother, brother, father, sister, lover, friend, my hopes dying slowly. Rose petals falling beneath an autumn red moon will not adorn your unmarked graves. My dreams lying quietly, a dark pool under the trees will not carry your name to a forgetful shore. And what a pity, what a pity that pity has folded in upon itself. An old man's mouth whose teeth are gone and I have no pity. Rest in peace. Woo!